Hi, everybody, and welcome to Katie's Take. This morning, we're getting the skinny on so-called healthy snack food. We're here at the Fairway Supermarket in New York City, and I'm being joined by Marjorie Nolan, who is spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Hey, Marjorie. Hello. First of all, are we snacking too much? Studies show that Americans are snacking more than we're actually eating meals, and that's making up a larger and larger portion of our caloric intake, up to 30 to 40 percent. One reason I wanted to do this segment is that I noticed that increasingly we see so-called healthy chips. We'll see if they're so healthy. A lot of parents, I think, may buy this thinking that they're a better snack for their kids, but they don't really look that healthy. What's the story? When we look at the ingredients, what we see is the first ingredient is actually potato starch. Potatoes are technically a vegetable. However, we know that potatoes are very high in calories compared to other vegetables, and ultimately, the total nutritional value of a snack like this is right up there with potato chips. Here are black bean chips. Well, you think those must be higher in protein than regular potato chips, right? Because right. black beans are a good source of protein. And these are. They're a little higher in fiber. They're a little lower in sodium. But ultimately, for one ounce, which is a standard portion for any chip or snack food item. Which is like 10 chips? Which is about 10 chips. And this particular product, that is exactly 10 chips for 140 calories. So it may be a better product in its ingredients. However, portion-wise, you're not going to get much for the caloric value. Right. But so you should eat 10 and no more than 10 of these. All right, then we have popcorn, which was much maligned, but now it's being hailed as a healthy snack mm -hmm. because there was a new study done? That's right. A new study showed that air-popped all-natural popcorn is very high in antioxidants. However, 90% of the antioxidants that we're finding in the popcorn was in the holes, that part that gets stuck in your teeth. With some of these other types of popcorn snacks, they're actually created so that the holes are taken out because people oh. don't like them. So there goes your antioxidant. So finally, Marjorie, what can I snack on and still feel good about? Go back to the basics. Fruits and veggies, almonds, 10 to 12 if you can't get a snack pack. String cheese is a great snack that's very portable, as well as single-serving yogurts, cottage cheeses, etc. All right. Well, Marjorie Nolan, thank you very much. Uh, you've spoiled my appetite, and that's probably a good thing. <laughs> thank you so much, Marjorie. Thank you. And thank you for watching Katie's Take. If you have any questions, you can tweet me. My handle is at Katie Couric. You can friend me on Facebook, and I can also be found on Yahoo.com and ABCNews.com as well. Until next time, we'll see you later.